So, I have been told that the puzzles in this game are a little bit more difficult than I was expecting. In other words, I'm going to stop faffing about and start taking this seriously. And in fact, as of right now, I've already taken a look at the language, and it's a lot more complex than I was expecting. There's not just a 1-1 a one, one letter sort of thing going on here. So, yes, graphic de design is my passion. But also, yeah, taking a look, I have figured out some words at the very least, and although that's not super helpful. It does mean that if I go back and look at the the instruction manual, I can at least figure out kind of what to do with the golden coin. Because it definitely says that I'm supposed to do something with the golden coin, throw it into the well or something like that. So maybe? Maybe that's something. I mean, also, uh, at, at least taking a look at how some of the, the letters line up, it does seem like I was supposed to understand that you can dash by holding down the X button, that it's not just like you get some sort of cool attack after doing this. Although I do think you you also get that. But hey, there is a run button as it turns out. Well, anyway, so I guess one of the first things I'm going to do is I, I do have one of those coins, right? I have I might have picked that up off screen as I was I didn't mean that. Dang. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I might have picked that up off screen as I was doing a little bit of searching around, seeing if I could find something else, but uh, trust me, you didn't really miss too much. It was mostly, I tried to press my face against every single wall possible and found some stuff that way. All right, so immediately, and I mean, with the idea that there are going to be some, some pretty serious secrets, I also figured out a bunch of other stuff. You know, like, for example, locking onto things does give you a very clear... And, you know, different perspective of the area, which I think is going to be important for quite a few puzzles later on. In fact, there was one already that I sort of figured out, but I can't remember the exact location of that. You know, the point was that, uh, trying to figure my way, uh, out my way back into the forest right now. Yeah, did I find this thing? Yeah, I found this thing. I'm trying to remember exactly what I've done, because I, I did have to go around and, like, record, take a picture of every single bit of of the language that exists in the game to try and figure that out. And I'm sure I could probably uh, suss out a few more of those, but at the same time, yeah, this this place right here. There, see? Doing the, doing the focus mode lets you see that. So, to do what? I don't know. I am also, at this point in time, recording down, like, every... A location of things that I have yet to do much of anything with so I know that there's like the monolith here the door over there there is a, a bunch of hookshot places over in the the forest that I had yet to really look at and this I don't even think was included on the world map from what I remember oh yeah like the broken golden monolith thing that does exist there over in the forest uh, they saw that over by the place where all the the Various, um, old burying ground, I see. I saw that in the place, uh, over where the, the various, um, that spiders were at. So, you know, might have to end up repairing that or something later, if that's even something that is possible to do. I don't know. Cool. Doesn't really inform me of much of anything. It does show me that I am about to run into a door, and that's probably not going to be very helpful. Oh yes, also, I taking a look at the, the manual again, I do also see that there is a, a, a hint as to where I'm going next. Old house. Gotta go get a key for that. It seems, yeah, what does that say? It's like, you... something that sort of looks like E-L-L, -L, if, I, if I look back at this. You can see like, well and bell are somewhat consistent in how that works. But there, it's sort of strange how exactly the... The, the, the language seems to work because, for example, the, although I have seen that a bunch of times, I don't really know if that's entirely accurate because I can't really figure out how that turns into the there or a number of other things. It's one of those things where it could be a result of trying to, like, it's not supposed to, the symbols don't represent a letter. They represent, like, a, a phoneme, perhaps? Because I've noticed that it's like they're, they're, you can recognize the graphemes, which are just the, the writing version of a phoneme, pretty easily. But they don't correspond to like an English language. Maybe they correspond to phonemes. Maybe they've got like a, a Dakaten, Han Dakaten sort of thing going on. 
maybe the fact that they're flipped upright versus reversed it's like has some sort of meaning because you can see in the stamina points thing that the there are the the sort of arrow looking symbols pointing up and down in the the inverted way compared to like what the the, the you would see in the the thing well anyway this is, that's gonna have to be something that i uh, consider later and there's also just like other weird things here and there like you can see the, the what are those squares next to the bombs there are three different types of bombs and there are punch cards or something next to it. And then if I go way back here, uh, was it this far? Too far. Yeah, next to the prize slash treasure thing, there are also punch card things. And then the upper left corner, there's uh, one of the larger dots there too. So that means something, certainly. Yeah. But I mean, as it is, uh, what, what else is I looking at over here? I don't even remember now. <laughs> Got kind of too caught up in uh, trying to analyze this language. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, Fox guy looking at something. Got that, that like, a, the um, uh, Silent Hill style, where the characters will look at an item you can interact with. Okay, well, anyway, that's... Uh, enough um puzzle trying to puzzle things out for right now what else am i doing here oh yeah right 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 i i need to go get a key to go into that old house and i guess that's probably where i'm getting the shield because i don't know where to get a shield as of just yet nice <laughs> i don't recognize any of those words though that guy's just got a gun <laughs> what the heck i mean clearly i'm not even supposed to be here anyway but I'll at least see if I can't find something else wacky here first. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe I'll just leave instead. It does seem like uh, running is very much an option, though, too. Also, do I have this entire uh, big... Very, like... I, I don't know why it makes me think of, like, Hyper Light Drifter or something. You know, like, gigantic uh, pieces of technology sort of littering the landscape. And that does exist elsewhere, too. But I don't know. I mean, I guess I can look down in there a little bit more, but right now I should probably just go focus on ringing the bells. Seems to be the uh, the major thing that the, the game is trying to convince me of as of right now. I think. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, did, did I even go in here? Uh, hey, you... Cute, but not very helpful. I mean, all right. Uh, well, anyway, uh, what else was I doing here? Um, I guess I'll keep that. Th I guess I'll have to go write that down too in my um, in my tunic notes, in my my uh, MS Paint documents. And um, you know, it's a puzzle game when you get the MS Paint documents and the and the notepad documents out, right? All we need is a spreadsheet here, and we got the full on the, the video game suite of uh, kind of difficult games to, to figure out. <laughs> okay, did, I was trying to go into the forest here because I know there's a well in there. I do remember that one in particular, thinking that maybe you could fall down it, sort of Zelda style, because that was a thing that happened in Zelda. And you can clearly tell that I'm less interested in the things that are Zelda like in this game at this point in time. <laughs> That it's like, okay, okay, where, where, does, where does Mr. Inferno Fireman's priorities lie here when it comes to, to this video game? The Zelda part? No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway. The actually surprisingly difficult puzzles, the very Fez-like puzzles going on here. I wonder if I'm going to have to go do binary code at some point in time. Maybe. Uh, I guess we'll see. As it is, though, let me see. Uh, so, go right up to the well. Probably just use the item, and it'll do something. Poggers. Alright, well. I'm betting that probably says something along the lines of coins donated one. To do what? I don't know. Because I can't quite read exactly what that's supposed to, to be. Well... Yeah, it's like, obviously, if I had a little bit more of a mastery of the language, I would be somewhat clearer. But it seems like I'm going to have to... 
it's going to take a while to try and figure out that one because, like I said, it is a level of complexity a little bit more than the, the than doing the Junior Jumble. Let's actually say something about that, that golden dais there. But I can't understand it. So, you know. So I do think that this was another good opportunity to look at, like, the... The ability to lock on to things. Yeah, there was something over here, right? Yes, there was. But yeah, if I'm able to like... Well, first off, did I ever look at this? I mean, it just kind of like shows the, the basic layout of that sort of stuff. But if I also um, what was it? go down a little bit farther, where, where was the entrance where I could get into like the lower part of this? Was it actually over here, I think? Yes. The lower fortress, or the lower for, the lower forest, <laughs> has the the same, whatever the uh, the text is on the bottom there. It is the same as the east forest. These things do not match up like one one where there is, you know, the English and then underneath it it is, uh, English and then but yeah, like this right here. There's something. I don't know what exactly, but. Uh, the English does not match up, is what I'm trying to say. And there's also the broken golden monolith over there, too. If... I don't know. It's the sort of thing where you expect... That might just be environmental storytelling. You know what I'm saying? Where what you do is you see that, and you're like, Okay, that's where the, the guys beat up the golden monolith, and now everything's bad, or something. Oh, yeah, there's also this over here that I found. Since it took me far too long to get out of that forest... <laughs> Anyway, yeah, yeah, I can walk over here and there's a bunch of these. I don't really know what that means. Forest Fortress. All right. I have no reason to go into the Forest Fortress. I am still trying to, like, uh, you know, ring both the bells. Gotta go fight Kalog and everything, but, uh... Well, I don't really know if there's anything I can do with that right now, but... First off, can definitely do something with this. Can definitely do something with this. Why is this, this thing has followed me so far? Anyway. Okay. Also missed getting one of the uh, potions in the forest. Apparently. Because I had to... Because originally I started out this episode with the idea that I was just like, Ah, I'm just going to continue on. But then people told me, Hey, you should probably check out the puzzles. The puzzles are neat. And I'm like, Okay, I guess I'm just going to restart the entire... <laughs> I guess I got to go do another run to get back to where I was at the begin at the end of the first episode, right? And so I did. All right, and now since something is uh, behind the camera, yeah. All right, okay. So it just leads back back over here. Okay. I guess that uh, works for me then. Do I even want to go over to the forest fortress? I don't know. I mean, that's that's, that's sort of the frustration with open world games yet again. The idea that you know. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I guess you do have the manual to sort of tell you. Whatever. Uh, I guess you do have the manual to sort of tell you to a certain extent, but still, though. Oh my god, no. I, I'm, not, I'm not even bothering with this. I'm going to go up here. Into the frigid uh, mountaintop, I guess? <laughs> Seems to be what I'm looking at. Right, is this like the spirit temple from the Zelda? Might be. Probably is. Wonder if I try to, to walk off this that it's going to... That I'm not going to be able to get too far. Well, anyway. As it is, though, aside from, you know, being able to walk up here. Uh, there's another door. Okay. Neato. Kind of pointless, though, it seems. So... I don't know. Well, I mean, there's also this here, too. Yep. What you got? Now, uh, number 20. Cyan Peril Ring, Inverted Ash, Lucky Cup. Oh, yeah, here you go. So, it's a little bit more about the well, it seems. Which is interesting, because uh, going back to my, my, my great, uh, great thing here, you can see that the well, specifically, uh, has a... Um, I mean, I, I don't even know what you would call that second part to it. Now, in that, in the the bottom left corner of that, uh, 
What does that mean? Oh. And I'm gonna have to try and figure out exactly how to to like decipher some of this language a little bit more. Because, I mean, it does also show, okay, well, all right, so yeah, it says page 20 here. I see, the implication seems to be that you use the coin to get, I, did these tile things to do something? And that is what the part of the menu, the, the part of the menu that I have yet to kind of see here. To do something. Anyway, the temple, you get three keys. The ruined atoll, okay. Says something about the, the golden dais thing. Ah, do not know what the fox character is. Yeah, checkpoint is dead. Yes, I did see that one. Apparently that's on page 24, which I do not have. All right, temple, three keys, uh, the golden dais don't mean much of anything to me right now. Okay, well, that's about all I got. Don't... Like, what is... Like, what is the thing written on there, though? I'm just looking at it right now. It's like, it seems to be implying that the... the like the the bit after, I mean, it, it seems to be hints for the language specifically, but I don't think that's probably the case. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna get a whole lot of hints for figuring out the language. I'll probably be able to do it. I don't know if this is gonna be one of those games that just kind of like tells it to you eventually. Just like, okay, here's the guide for how to do all of the things. <laughs> we'll see. Because I know the, another game that's going to be upcoming that I have yet to even put on the channel right now. It's like, does have hints of how to do that sort of stuff. And it's like, nah, don't worry about it. I already figured it out. <laughs> uh, anything else? Anything else? Nope. Looks pretty much... Uh, looks like there's not really too much of anything else up here then. So, I'm out of here in other words. Uh, what else? What else is there to do around here? I'm not even bothering with this sort of nonsense. I mean, apparently I am going to be bothering with that sort of nonsense where I go when I go over to the other side there, but... Hey, do you mind if I just, like, real quick? Nothing of much interest? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, what else? What else you got over here? Well, here's one of these things. Looks like the, uh, the doors that exist previously. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, this is an item. Uh, well, it, does, it says obtain probably wand. Because <laughs> it looks like a wand. Three question marks. I mean, three question marks. It's like, it, it says it right there. Magic items. Right there. It's, it's right there. It's just, I don't, I, it doesn't say anything to me as to how exactly it works. All right, what do I got? I got 16 charges, probably refreshes that thing. Nope, doesn't seem to do much of anything to the uh, the cool golden monolith up here, unfortunately. Ah, well. So it has a limited amount of charges, but then there's also like magic that it uses too. There you go. That was super pointless. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, wait, is this... Yeah. All right. I saw that there. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of those games where you got to... You got to... You really got to be paying attention to a lot of this stuff. What is... What was the point of going down here, then? Oh, there's a door here. <laughs> I guess that would be the point of going down here, then. Hey, it's me. By the way, is this inside the... The, the temple? Huh. huh. Well, then. I mean, get in here a little bit prematurely. Normally, I would, uh, oh, maybe, like, the amount that it has on there is a listing of, well, okay, this is just sort of a preview for later. 
Maybe the amount it has on there is just the amount of times you can cast it before you you run out of magic. Well, d anyway, I guess there's that. Yeah, normally the, with the way that I would play a game is that I would end up, you know, trying to go through it like vanilla style first. But now nah, I feel like doing the secrets. <laughs> I'm more interested in doing that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, I'm not gonna have too much trouble dealing with these things. So, yeah, I don't. Did, did I say really anything about this last time? It's sort of weird that this game. It's like, yeah, largely like Zelda for the most part. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, largely Zelda for the most part, but then it's like, also, here's this entire... Ugh, whatever. This entire thing about it just having, like, a manual. <laughs> like, like the, 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 big, the big distinction that this game has is that it has a manual <laughs> with it. That you get in the game. It's weird, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, come on. Oh, come on. I got the roll there. Don't even lie to me. No. Will you just get on? Ugh, I swear. Sometimes it is It is very difficult to just get on a ladder. I mean, it's not like I... Uh, oh, let me see here real quick. Uh, yeah, that's probably just like a listing of how much before you run out of mana or whatever. Anyway, I got a wand now. Neato. <laughs> Okay, but, uh, yeah, what, down here, I'm going into the... You know, I never really checked out this last time. Let me just see. What what does this character actually do? Unfortunately, since I don't really have the translation down, it's still going to remain as question mark, question mark, question mark here. Hi, it's me. Now, it doesn't really say... I don't know if I like the fact that it's just saying, ah, pick one. <laughs> it's like, why Why would I want to pick one? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd probably take the health potion there, but... If I start really hurting for health or whatever in this game, and given that I'm not really particularly concerned with the actual moment-to-moment uh, -moment gameplay at this point in time, but the, the cool puzzles, uh, yeah. And that's a point in time when, when I'm going to go back there. Until that, who knows? Maybe the manual's gonna be like, no, you really shouldn't do that, bro. You're gonna get the bad ending. And I'm like, oh no, not the bad ending. Anything but that. Anyway, this is the part where I was at last time, right? Where I, I threw around a bunch of bombs and it, it definitely didn't work out very well for me. Which I mean, I guess since I started a, a, a new save file here, sort of, um, I could go in there and get that stuff again, but. Otherwise, it's kind of irrelevant. All right. Boy, I would really like to get a shield. I mean, it, it, it seems to very clearly... Well, this sort of looks... Eh, no? Okay. It's like I got the I got the wand at a place where I, you know, of course, did... Uh, I got the wand at a place, of course, near where I saw a giant monolith that looked a lot like one of those things. Has text on there that I cannot read. Yeah, I'll get there eventually. Look, I just didn't want to really, you know, do, 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 not do... Oh, there's a key down here. Good. That's good, because I think I need a key to get into the house. And now let me just real quick... Yeah, the old house key. There you go. And I do believe that was the key uh, piece of text that I saw there earlier. All right, then. Anyway. I mean, look, I got a magic wand. I could have just zapped him a whole bunch of times. It's like, I'm still, just because I'm not doing this uh, fast fist style anymore, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be, you know. Yeah, that's like use key or something. But the second, the second uh, piece of text there is definitely key. And the lower part seems to correspond with like E or something. At least looking at like how bell was spelled. But don't know just yet. Do you mind? All right, cool, poggers. Wow. Now, it said that I needed to go into the old house to actually get something in the manual. Uh, at least back on one of the first pages. Giving you, yeah, old house into the flooded well. It Well, beneath the well or whatever. 
Dark Tomb, West Garden, just a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of junk to do here. There it is. Finally. Okay. A something. I mean, I guess that probably says a shield. Which, if I were to look over at the manual, I believe that is what the shield is sort of like listed as. Yeah, you can see in the upper right corner, RT is that. So that, that word means shield. I know that at least. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, what do you do over here? I mean, it's going to open up the gate. That's what it does. But still. Leading into another one of these mysterious doors. Which, if I knew how to read... Uh, I, uh, yeah. If I knew how to read, I would. Um, question marks. Uh, it's, it's something about that in the page I picked up on the mountaintop, right? Sort of remember, right? Uh, it doesn't really... No, it doesn't really look like it. Thought I saw something here. Oh well, uh, put items here at some point in time in all likelihood. Given that there isn't even text here for me to try and decipher. I mean, that's a bunch of hexagons on the side, so I'm guessing it probably has something to do with the hexagons. And I'll figure that one out later, I suppose. Maybe I should go back and look at that old house again. There was a bunch of stuff in there, but whatever. It doesn't seem relevant to puzzle solving. Oh yeah, and then um, as always, behind the waterfall, right? Let me just do this. Oh, this just leads back to this. Ah, whatever. If you're trying to speed around the game and you don't want a shield, why wouldn't you want a shield? This it seems pretty useful. <laughs> All right, so they're into uh, beneath the well, which doesn't really mean much of anything, given that wells, as they exist right now, seem to just be there to, you know, uh, have me sink money into, and then I will get, um... <sighs> so to get level two, I guess to get level one, you go one, and then it's three, three, four, five... It seems to imply that I'll get upgrades, like a, a, a fiery sword or a super shield or something. Or that, you know, those, um, those tiles or whatever as they exist are going to be giving me, I don't know, like the, the, the Hollow Knight style badges or something like that. It's a tooth. What does that mean? I don't know. I, mean, I guess I should just be attacking these things on sight at this point, right? <laughs> By the way, yeah, I thought so. Cool and nice. Ah, uh, don't recognize any of those. You have to go look at that a little bit more. But also, it's like there's a bunch of places to put things that I know right now. If I want to go, just mess around with that, and I don't. I would rather figure out the language before I start trying to mess around with that sort of stuff. Is this the, the dark cave? The what, ancient tomb? What did it call it? Uh, something. Dark tomb. Okay. Well, I'm supposed to go beneath the well here for... Okay, that's why I'm not supposed to go into the dark tomb right now. Wait! <laughs> really? Alright, fine. I guess it's not a fire wand. I don't really know what kind of wand it is. Might, that might not be fire at all. That might be, you know, something completely different. Could be, you know, something not fire related. <laughs> wow, that's some good commentary you're doing there. Really insightful and great stuff. All right. Yeah, there's stability, as they mentioned in the... In the, the manual there. Sort of. All right, what I got? Got a red hot choy polis. Dang, danger. All right. Uh, well, that symbol on the left, I swear I just saw earlier, but still not quite sure. All right. D -d whatever. I just get behind him. D -d whatever works here, really. Also, here's another good opportunity to. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it sort of worked. Whatever, I'm just gonna leave. It's not like I'm here to, you know, to fight all these guys anyway. 
All right. It does seem as though stability doesn't really sort of a thing. Hey. All right. Okay. Anyway, then. Give me one second. I gotta kind of make sure that I'm not about to uh, die due to got lasers. Could probably. I mean, enemies overall, yeah, do take damage from this sort of stuff. Do you mind? Okay, it's actually just not even attacking me now. That'll work. That'll work. Hey, what do you, what do you got now? Oh. The seeking power, I guess. Attack, defense, potion. Some sort of mysterious thing that looks definitely like a mushroom. It's almost definitely a mushroom. Uh, oh no. Something about health points. And that character. I mean, you know. Try to be this strong to fight the Garden Knight. Ah, whatever. I'll just zap him with the, la the, the cool lasers that I got now. Seems like they to imply that, uh... Yeah, I guess the tiles are supposed to be used for equipment. Those are equipment. And then it seems like one of them might be able to prevent me from losing the the Hollow Knight shade when I die. Alright. Only I knew how to read. I knew how to read at a very young age. I would never be uh, I would never be confused by a, an instruction manual. So what did that say? It said something about like I need to do this at the the thing here, right? Uh, wanna da, 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 press L beat at a shrine? It <laughs> looks like. All right. Yes. I guess the good thing I just got one of those. All right, my AT and T is up now. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Uh, attack, defense, HP, potion, question mark, and question mark. Doesn't even want to show me that last one. It's too... something. <laughs> it's too frightening. Not suitable for children. Quite the loading screen. Beneath the well, because Zelda... You know, I just, look, here's the thing. It's like, uh, when we're not doing puzzles here, the, the answer is Zelda. Hey. Oh, they explode. Fun. All right. Now, it did say something along the lines of, like, use your shield or something against these guys. Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> huh. All right, then. Note to self, don't uh, t take those things seriously. Take the slimes. What do they call them? What, what was the dumb name they gave them here? Slorms. Stun it by blocking. Yeah, there you go. Use your shield here. You should have gotten that by going to the old house. He said, this is an open world game sort of thing. So you never know. It's like, I really have to resist the temptation to just kind of like do things like pass fist runs because it's just like, well, I mean, technically I might not have even gotten the sword at this point in time, right? <laughs> Because you refuse to design a video game. Instead of making me, me design the video game for myself. Except, no, they, they, except that's not actually true. Because, of course, you know, there's always a route that they want you to take. They just don't tell you about it. That's the difference. <laughs> okay. It, stop ranting about this, you idiot. Uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get behind the waterfall. As always. I guess that's the one for the, uh, the potion. By the way, I've looked at that. Every time you get an item, it's the same message. So, not really too much point in, uh, I don't know, a lot of fruit. Um, not really too much point in, in trying to, uh, like, look at all of those. Just, it, it says something along the lines of, I'm betting item obtained. Maybe exactly that. Here's the thing. The unfortunate thing with this is that it is... It is not uh, the sort of thing that will, uh, d that even if I know exactly what it's supposed to translate to in English, that I'll be able to apply that to any other piece of text. 
All right. What do you got? Crabbo. All right. Bird. Envoy. Uh, yeah, it seems... Something about... Okay, it's something written in there about, like, music and a chicken being very happy about that. Uh, what else? What else? Like, it doesn't even say exactly where where this is here. Like, where is this? Where is this area? <laughs> to Overworld. I mean, so... I guess that would be on the lower part here. One that I'm not even going to as of just yet. All right, and then the frog's domain. But it's still useful. There's also a magic orb in here, which I can't read anything about that, so... Figure that one out later. And the drawing of... Uh, the statue that I've seen already. Oh, page 34. So this is a really big manual. It's like... Did you know that the uh, like original Final Fantasy manual, I think, was, you know... Uh, this gigantic, like, hundreds of pages long sort of thing. Was, uh, it was a big one. I said, uh, you know, the sort of thing where... So I really expect people not people to not really know as much about, like, the basics of RPGing back in the day or something. Uh... Which is not an unreasonable thing, to be honest. Oh, yeah, behind the waterfall, of course. Should probably go do that right now. I haven't seen any dead hands just yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Zelda, you see. Zelda. I'm playing Zelda. Come on, what's back here? Yeah. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me and say, no, there's nothing back here. This That's just that, though. I am perhaps disappointed. Unless... Nope, looks like I'm going to have to be disappointed. Because that's it. Well then, I mean, hey, the the, the old uh, old video game knowledge remains true, as always. Zelda, but with a little bit of Dark Souls in here, mostly Dark Souls just for the sake of um, really, it's Dark Souls for the sake of uh, you know, Nito. Um, it's Dark Souls for the sake of, like, just some, uh, quality of life, uh, basic gameplay stuff. It's not like just because I got an Estus Flask that's necessarily Dark Souls. It's just a good, he it's a good healing system. Frankly, I'm, I'm happy to see other games adopting it. But, you know, bonfire stuff, too. It's like, you know, it's there. It's there. The comparison is there to be made. Where's the treasure chest over here? Just let me open it up. Let me open it up so I can leave. Uh, well, I guess I'll have to go back and get that treasure chest later, because you know there is one. <laughs> this game's got a very, this game doesn't have the uh, the little symbol sort of thing for for not finding secrets that like Hyper Light Drifter did, but that doesn't necessarily mean that just means it's going to be more annoying to have to to uh, smash my face against every single wall. Wow. Good stuff. Um, how about this instead? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, my God. That is, these things are really annoying. They don't really give you too much time to react to them, do they? Well, whatever. Hurry it up. All right. Uh, shouldn't be too long. I mean, if I, if I just kind of ignore enemies, it doesn't seem like I can ignore the slimes, but... As long as I don't have to cross paths with them, it'll take literal seconds to just kind of run back up here. Okay, anybody else? How about you? Great. Then I cannot see anything down here, but I'm sure there's probably something. What did say in the manual that I was about to be getting like a, uh, a, a, a lantern or something, right? It, it, yeah, yeah, uh, ring the last bell in, oh, the, in the dark tomb, apparently. Not in this place, at least just yet. I think that's a still active sort of... 
I think that's one of those um, still active type of things. You know, how about this? There. Easy. Sort of. And it turns into one of those... Uh, I see. Uh, and then it turns into one of the um, tuning forks there. So I guess that's what the tuning forks are. Sort of. Uh, well, I'm just going to go grab the, the shortcut here first before I start even bothering fighting anything. Nope. And they, they don't even care anymore. They've already given up. As they should. I'm far too powerful for them, and they are not going to, to beat me. Once again, might as well just attack every single one of these, right? What do you got? It's this. Effigy. Or was that, or was that an effigy? No, no, no. That was the one that gives you defense, right? Something like that. So, I guess I'll kind of keep that in mind for later. Jesus. Well then. Still, though, pretty non-threatening, all things considered. It's three potions. No, I think those are three of the ice bombs they showed them here. The ones with the, the very strange punch cards next to them. Well, if I need to fight something, uh, then I need to do it ice-related. I'll just come back here when I get the actual... Uh, I'll just come back here when I get the actual um, uh, light source that I'm about to do. I can see the bell right there. Oh, and here's another one of these things. No translation for it at all. Uh, can't really see what it says, though. Oh, is this it? Yep. They just get, they got it right there. And I guess that's how you spell bell. That's like, you obtained a bell, or not a bell, you obtained a light. Don't know what the server rooms here are supposed to be, though. They're connected to all of the other wacky stuff. All right. Do I need to use magic to be able to, or, no, not that, this button. Do I need to use magic to be able to effectively do it? No, I guess that's like an innate sort of item. All right. And I still continue to hit that. Oh, yeah, you can see it already even lighting up here. Okay, so I guess I can probably just go check out the rest of the areas. I s oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's the magic of having a light source now. Hey, you guys aren't the bosses, are you? I mean, you might be, but, like, also, well, uh, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to, like, the save point or something, or maybe I'll... Go check out some of the other areas here before I dive directly into that. All right, then. Uh, yeah, because after all, there's probably still more stuff over here, I'm sure. Especially now that I got a light source. I will actually go find the, the dead hand to go fight. Because <laughs> it's a Zelda thing. You get it? It's Zelda. Uh, anyway. There's apparently something underneath there. I don't particularly care, and frankly, I am not threatened by it. Nah, I'm kind of threatened by it. Like a little bit. Doesn't seem to move, though. Okay, I see. Well, alright, but to get circle strafing as per usual would have worked there up until, you know, I, uh, I got hit anyway. <laughs> alright then. You don't actually lose all of your money doing this, though, right? Uh, right, right, right. It's not, it's not activating the thing. What you gotta do is you gotta, like, uh, hit into the, the pause menu to make this entire thing work. Yeah, here we go. So, could get extra defense, could get extra potion. I guess give me extra potion, why not? I mean, I do both, right? Ah, yes, it defaults to yes. I'm so used to it defaulting to no. All right. Level two of potion. And then level two of defense. It's like, right. Oh, my God. Uh, level two of, of defense is what's going to happen in just a couple seconds. There we go. Just do it. 
Oh, that statue is roughly the size of you, um... Tunic. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Enough of this, uh... In yeah, just enough of this. Let's get on with the thing already. So, I mean, pretty much all I need to do is I just need to go walk past... I mean, yeah, the, the other uh, Dark Souls, of course, the respawning enemies when you go back to the, the save point. Doesn't seem to respawn bushes, though, which is sort of... sort of funny. Like, why? It's of all living things. Alright, anyway. You might say, why aren't you uh, locking on? Eh, whatever. Who locks in on in Dark Souls? Utterly and completely worthless, if you were to ask me. And then, uh, okay. Oh boy, more manual pages that I can't really read. What now? What sort of what sort of pointless stuff are we getting getting this time? There's spiders down here, and also another one of those um <laughs> server rooms, monolith things. It looks a lot like the the door at the beginning of the game, but that doesn't really, you know, mean much of anything. At least it doesn't mean much of anything to me yet. Seem to have. <laughs> Looks as though the actual like location of some of the the traps, although uh, are, I have been drawn in, although there is at the start there. It looks like there's some sort of place to go down. Ah, uh, there's something in the right statue. This is the sort of stuff that I'm betting would probably be pretty useful. Fortress of the Eastern Vault, with a very Zelda-style thing here. So, I mean, this could actually be useful in some ways. If those, uh, if those symbols are supposed to represent, like, you know, north, south, east, west. They're also, like, connected together. Hmm. Eh, look at it later. For right now, let's go over here and find the, the treasure chest that exists, because you know it does. No? I mean, it's probably elsewhere. You know what? It's probably, like, over here instead, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? It's on the other side. Man, I, I'm surprised that I didn't find anything there. Maybe later. Well, anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, it's right here. Oh, yeah, and here's the area that you can climb up and down, as noted in the manual. So there you go. All of it answered. Because of Zelda, you understand. These skeletons. Ow. I mean, yeah, sort of ow. Not really that ow. Yeah, it said that in there. It also gave, like... I mean, I might go... Uh, end up looking a little bit more in the... In the, the manual again as to what exactly it said. Oh. You know, I don't actually uh, rest at the save point or something. I think I might not have actually rested at the save point. Now let me just uh, not walk onto the cool spikes that are going to kill me. And sub let everything else walk onto the cool spikes that would have killed me. Uh, let's go back to the save point real quick. Because, I mean, it's right here after all. But yeah, uh, taking a look uh, real quick. Um... Yeah, you can see Spike in the middle of the room. There's that. Goes down. Statue on the right. Statue on the right. But then also the chamber on the left seems to have some sort of specific path that I need to go through. Do I want to do that? Uh, probably. I mean, like I said, I'm not really I'm not really focused too much on just finishing the regular game right now. I am I'm I'm going for secrets. I'm going all for the secrets here if I possibly can. For no particular reason, but aside from <laughs> To be honest, I find it a lot more interesting than just playing Zelda. It's it's actually very you know thinking about it right now. This is a this is a very similar series to how I uh, played played Environmental Station Alpha, where to be honest, it's like yeah, it's a decent little um, Metroid style game, but it wasn't until I got to you know the secret part of the game that it got a lot more interesting. <laughs> Same sort of thing here. 
Where it's just like, it, I'm not, it's, it is largely just a tribute game, you know. As of right now. So, statue on the right. What do you got here? It doesn't show anything. I mean, I can see like a bunch of this stuff. Which, okay. Whatever works, I suppose. Um, statue on the right is supposed to have something there. Also, I guess, uh, did an enemy just get zapped by one of these things? <laughs> like, probably. Okay, I can't shoot through there. Uh, and then, yeah, you can see. Okay, so you can actually see on the ground if you have the light, but if you didn't have the light, it would have showed you the path you need to take. Or maybe there's something else. I don't even know what this is. Oh. Oh, it just, it, it just has a white color to it because of the... I guess darkness of this area. Alright, anyway. Those can just destroy those statues down there. I don't know if that's normally a thing that I can do. Well, there's this over here. There's oh, what appears to be a chest, but I think that's a chest that might ask me to take damage right now. How do I really care about, you know, just going and... Oh, no, I can just fuck over here. Alright. And it's nothing. It's just money, which, what do I even use money for aside from making tributes? And I only have so many things that I can make tribute with. I mean, maybe the, the windmill guy. Okay, you can just kind of... No, this is just silly. I mean, whatever works, I suppose. But still. What do you got? Nothing. So... Hmm. I mean, it didn't... Is it... I mean, okay. Maybe that's kind of what the... That was uh, supposed to be... Showing me. Yeah, it's another one of the coins. So cool upgrade stuff, but like... It, it, did it show like a coin on here? I mean, I can zoom in a little bit more. Oh yeah, it shows it behind the... Shows behind the, um, the thing. So, fair enough. Now, there was like an, as an O and an X, but that doesn't mean anything to me. Wait a second! I was supposed to be- okay, so the, the gimmick here, I guess, is that, uh, you know. By destroying these, you might put yourself in more danger. I mean, not that much more danger, let's be honest here. Especially when I have, uh, you know, the cool wand that I found apropos of nothing earlier. Sort of, uh, makes this quite a bit easier. By doing exploration, which I hate. And I would have preferred if they just made a regular video game. Anyway. I can go and rant about this forever, but I won't. But I will, <laughs> but I won't subject you to it. I'll do it. I'll do it off camera. <laughs> All right then. Anything else? Anything else fun around here? Oh. All right. Well, I guess that makes it a little bit easier to see. In this room, minimum. All right then. So now back into the server room. Uh. All right. Interesting, but I mean, you know, I've been in here before. I know, this is like the, the power source for the entire island or something. I don't know. You can see everything. There's another one of those, too. No, no. I mean, I guess there's stuff over here, too. Maybe I should do this first. Great. It's uh, every, every, every chest is a disappointment. So, yeah, I gotta uh, more or less, you know, get up on top of this. And in classic video game style, no, you can't just make a ladder. Okay, uh, what do you got? West Garden. Nice. It's not really that nice. I don't know if I don't know how nice this is going to be. It seemed to imply that there was going to be, you know. Yeah, even more of these things. Uh, it seemed to imply that there was going to be a boss in here. Maybe a boss that I can't just walk around this time. Here lies the hero. What do you mean, here lies the hero? I'm right here. 
Anyway, uh, anything else to look at here? Not really. Are these jiggly bushes. By the way, when those uh, bushes are like um, plopping around on the ground, are all these statues supposed to be like connected to the server room in some way? <laughs> they just can't see it most of the time. That would probably make some sort of sense. Oh no, I'm freeing an evil, evil AI or something. That's gonna be the big twist. This is a video game. It's always a big twist. Can't get away with a game just being, just having a story. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, another. I mean, I guess I'm gonna go throw that into the well, but I mean, I don't have any of the things. Oh, okay, so it just, this is, it's apparently like a universal uh, system. How do I open up the thing? Just throw it in there. I need evidently three of them to actually do something, though. Hmm. And that seems to be, give me equipment. Like, the, the implication is pretty clear that the thing that I'm going to get is equipment. You can see it right there. I just don't have anything right now. All right. One of these days, I'm going to figure out what the, the buttons you need to press to actually... Eh? Nothing. Okay, nothing. I'm going to figure out the buttons you need to press to actually get out of, like, the menu. Day is not that day. No, no. Seems like I might be able to just kind of go over... What is it? Like, here? No, probably... How am I supposed to get down there right now? Oh, yeah, there's one of those statues. Saw that earlier. With the three hexagons on it. As you do. I also got this sort of, like, a blue path thing. Yeah, okay. These are silly. Yeah, this is a very silly enemy. Uh, okay, I also got like a... These, these sort of blue paths that I saw earlier as I was ringing the other bell. Hello. What do you got? Survival tips. Tired all the time, whole day. What does that mean? You gotta get to go back to page 20 to learn about the equipment, I guess. Look at your bars. Probably says something along like extra damage if you're at full stamina. Oh, I'll figure this out later. Check the map for stuff. Yeah. Get like a little bit more of an overworld here. All right. Magic dagger. Uh, blocks away to the bell tower. Will kill you. <laughs> okay, then. Chopping nom. Dangerous as a family. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, there's that then, I guess. Anything else of interest? We'll kill you. And I do think that, yeah, it's like... There is... It's not a... It's definitely not a straight translation for everything, which is why... You know, that also makes it a little bit more difficult. I can figure out individual words, but I'm gonna need more than that. Alright, what do you got here? Probably money. Yeah, okay. P -p Poggers. Okay, yeah, see, it's even like zooming in on this in particular. It's it's the boss, apparently, but there was also something drawn in the in the manual about that too, at some point. It was just drawing the boss. Who knows? I got this thing second hand. Somebody drew all over the manual. What's up with that? I... Yeah. Anyway, uh... Nothing. I mean, this would be a Hyper Light Drifter thing again. I don't know why I keep thinking of that game. I don't... I oh. don't Yeah. <laughs> well, how about that then? All right. It seems like that would have been pretty difficult to deal with if I didn't have the wand. Which might be true for a number of different enemies in this game. Oh, I'm underneath this. Uh, which might be true for a number of different enemies in this game, but uh Whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about it. Still get another one of these these, these stupid fox things. I don't know what they do. Anyway, uh what else? What else? Oh man. 
I've been doing this for a time. I should probably just go call this an episode and get back to trying to do the trans the basic translation stuff. See if I can figure out something. More of these doors. Got to be explained. Show me the map. So it seems like it's gonna imply that I'm gonna be able to get in here by going through this. Because like how else am I going to get to the boss? If I also am I going to be able to get to the boss if I can't go through those doors. And I do have a good idea as to where uh, some of them that I want to go return to are. That one in the... That one, of course, in the... Uh, 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 like the secret um, waterfall area definitely seems like a, a good choice. Do you mind? I'm just gonna try and like kill every one of the the wall things as they appear at this point in time. After all, it does give me seemingly a lot of mana to be able to deal with that, so works for me. The wand does seem to be pretty all right. Oh my god! Do I just want to go like use some bombs here or something? This is annoying. Or maybe I just want to go, like, run away. Oh, my God. Seriously. Well, enemies hurt each other. No, uh, well, they don't hurt each other enough. That's, uh, it was a good attempt, though, regardless, right? Okay. Oh, uh, this shouldn't. This should be. I, I opened up a shortcut here, right? Shouldn't be too difficult to kind of get back. Still, though. Maybe I'll actually go equip up some of the bombs here, just because these things are like... Oh my god. Fairly fast. Alright, sure. I don't remember what the... Do they, like, why... Why is pause the left button? And not, you know, start or select or anything like that. Like every other video game in existence. Let me ask you that. And then, you know, ponder it. Ponder it for a long time here. Because Tunic can't do things in the normal way. They gotta make one of your shoulder buttons be your pause menu for no reason. <laughs> anyway, all right. I'm complaining over... Because okay, so you can just kind of like walk by these things too, I guess. Maybe I'll just do that. It'll be uh, at least somewhat convenient. Well, at least could be somewhat convenient. Nice. They have the ability to do this. I'm really happy about that. Oh my god. This is really annoying because it's not going to target the flying thing that's going to kill me. It's going to target everything except that. All right. Walk around here until the stamina's back. Okay. There we are. Now then. Yeah, and it's like that does restore the stamina uh, pretty quickly. By the way, does shooting this? No, that doesn't use stamina to do that. Um, that's gone then too. Well then. Come on. Come on, it might, much like trying to get onto to ladders earlier, uh, getting onto some of these ramps is more annoying than it should be. No, what's the button that I actually need to press for this? There we are. Oh, they can just do that, eh? Come on now. There you go. That was irritating, but I guessed most, I guess mostly not too bad. Hi. And there we are. Makes that at least a nice and simple for the time being. Also, it seems like I can go and walk around that other area. Nah, nothing. Uh, it seems like I can go and walk around here. Yeah. I guess it makes it very clear where the shallows are. Not that, that really matters because, of course, you know, secrets are... He's not really the sort of secrets that I'm concerned with. 
Let's say that like ups your attack for a short amount of time or something. Eh, whatever. I'm not really gonna be probably ending up using that too much. There we are. And then, like I said, I'm betting that this is gonna be the point in time. All right then, fine. Uh, this is going to be the point in time that I figure out how to open up doors. Do I use keys? Maybe. All right then. That should be a good start, minimally. Oh yeah, no, that was, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, there's a save point over here. Not that really matters too much, but because I've already uh, defeated all the enemies in this area, but still. This is another one of these things. Which I still don't know what they do, but uh, I guess I'll figure out eventually. Anyway. Yeah, this one's not active though, compared to the other things. I guess that's what you're supposed to do with the, the, the dais that exists around here, but that doesn't... I don't know what that means. Alright, come on now. And let's just do this. Because these are, everything is so annoying to deal with right now. There. And of course, somehow this decided to attack me. Despite being quite far away. Alright, anyway, uh... There! Now then, what am I actually looking for around here? Nothing. It's just nothing. Oh, there is the uh, magic dagger or something though, right? Now, I don't really know what that is, but... I mean, I guess I can see real quick. Yes, I was about to press the pause button. But, uh, I didn't. Nope, and I did it again. Damn it! It's just, it's so difficult. Alright, anyway. Oh, uh, what else? What else? I mean, I can see something over here, it looks like. No. Not really, I guess. I, I thought I could. Anyway, uh... Yeah, nothing else over here, or is there an actual boss? Because I'll finish this up by doing a boss, why not? Probably shouldn't be too difficult to go through, I'd like to say. It's too bad that I don't have any actual magic right now to be able to see what the, the dagger does. I'm betting it probably just opens up one of those doors, right? Usually what you would expect. Also, it never actually said in the manual what the, the leaves were supposed to do, so that's going to be something. Just by itself. And then more of this thing. All right. Well. I mean, this is sort of where the boss is at, right? Yes, it is, in fact. It's currently attacking me right now. The Garden Knight. I sort of was hoping that I could maybe, uh, you know, get the, um, get, get, get a save point or something first. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was just going to be walking directly into that. Well, anyway. All right, so it freezes things. Whatever, the, the wand is going to be better. You can actually get quite a few hits here before this fight even starts. That's not the part that I'm struggling with, though. It's the uh, three-hit combo this guy has. Just very slow. Very uh, Fume Knight-ish. Hard to get the timing down. But shouldn't take too many tries here. Yeah, just one. Oh, dude, that works too, I guess. Like this attack, for example, you just walk right to you back off and then you walk right towards him. Simple as that. And then walk towards him, and there you go. Very simple one to deal with, but that one, two, three. There you go. And then if he does them multiple times in a row, it's just like, well, <laughs> hope you got enough stamina, I guess. One, two, <sighs> three. And one, two. Yeah. Okay. Alright, you at fourth health, because that's the other really annoying part of this fight. No. Two three. 
there. One, two, three. Get that stamina back. The half, no, still not at a fourth health yet. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, come on. Now, well, here's what I'm just gonna go in and try and get as much health down before it starts just doing that forever. And then I guess just go for like range attacks. I haven't really been doing that too much. But yeah, now here's where he gets extra combos. Fun stuff. There we go. Yeah, I guess if I used the wand a little bit earlier, it probably would have been harder. Stops doing the, the ranged attack there, which is sort of... That's, that's like one of the easiest ways to get damage. Anyway, that... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, it took a while. Didn't take that long, though. We got. Who cares? Money is pretty useless, except for doing the tribute stuff. <laughs> so, this is the. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on top of the thing now. And I guess this is the second bell. Probably just call this episode here, then, I suppose. First boss you actually need to fight. Okay, yeah, right. Does say that. Okay, so is that enough to go get into the, the cool temple? Because there's supposed to also be like three keys on top of that and everything, right? Hey, is that one of the tribute things, speaking of which? I don't even know. You go through that entire area just because you can't uh, figure out any other way across this tiny chasm. Ain't that always how it is. All right, well, I guess next time I'm probably going to end up trying to figure out a lot more of the translation stuff. Uh, that's sort of the hope. Because that is still the thing I just got, like, absolutely. I mean, I got both of the things. No, oh, you're open, yeah. Okay. Uh, th that's the hope, at least, because, I mean, hopefully that's gonna, you know, shed some more light on what exactly... Hey, jeez. Um... I need to be doing right now. Well, what do you got up here? Alright, so, I guess that's what I'm looking for. Those, uh, those keys, so I can go and get Super Hexagon, uh, working for me, or whatever I'm supposed to be doing. It's still kind of, like, hard to say. Something about, you know, uh, power being forbidden and whatnot. Hey! Alright, uh, press A for three seconds in front of the gates, I guess. Alright, well... There you go. I suppose that works. Now I at least know how to do that. And there is the shortcut back to to the uh, the the upper the, the, the mountainous area. All right. So, there's that then. How, how where do I I mean, I guess yeah, like opening up the gates, that is sort of what I was looking for. Of course, it's in the manuals, which doesn't even make any sense. Like why why would that be in the manual in particular, but not, like, clear in the gameplay? D anyway, next time. Uh, something else.